Hey, what's up everybody? This is Osterberg501 and today I want to go over how you can gear up your alt characters incredibly quickly doing this one piece of content. Now the piece of content I'm going to be talking about is just called the tower. In any major city, you'll be able to find the symbol called the tower. And what this piece of content is, is essentially just a solo tower. You keep going up in floors. Every floor has some different objective. It could be just kill a group of enemies, kill named enemies, kill a boss, clear out a bunch of bosses and the most annoying one which is to survive which you don't kill anything there's just these enemies that come out that chase you around and then blow up in a big aoe and you'll probably die if you get hit by more than one of those and there's two versions of these towers there's shade spire and fate spire now they're pretty much the same things one is just higher tier so this one is 302 item level up to 540 and fate spire is 802 up to 1040 so they're essentially so it's essentially just a higher tier version of the first one. Now the reason this is specifically for gearing up alternate characters is because the tower works a little bit differently after one character beats it. So both towers will look like how this one looks in terms of rewards. If no character on your roster has done a specific tower floor yet, it's going to give you a reward such as card pack, such as recipe bucks, rapport items, skill point potions, stuff like that, that are more one-time earnable items and not any upgrade materials for your gear. But after one character completes a floor, it will then turn the rewards for all your other characters into resources. So I have done floor 1 through 50 of a Shade Spire on my main character. Now, when I go look at this on all of my other alt characters, now all of the rewards for my alternate characters are going to be just upgrade materials for your weapons and armor. And it gives a ton, as you can see. Every floor gives a bunch of resources. Harmony bags, harmony leap stones. As you get higher up, you get a lot more. A thousand guardian stone fragments right there. Bunch more harmony leap stones and you get a ton of resources. Now you still need to be the eye level. So this is something that you'll do over time and that will help you gear up your character much more quickly. And also just to note, all of the resources you get from this are going to be bound. So you can't trade these between any of your alts. So you kind of go do this on a bunch of alts, send it all over to one alt and gear them up super quickly. This is going to be something you want to do when you want to start gearing up that alt with the resources you're getting on that alt. And if you're someone that's more new, say you just started the game, say you're just getting to end game, what you can actually do is since we have power pass boosts so readily available once we hit level 50, you can can actually do some of these floors on alternate character first and then go do them on your main to get resources on your main but that's quite limited because you would have to keep gearing up your alt as well to keep going up floors but that's something that's a little bit possible i know some people were doing that they were gearing up a alt a little bit going through the tower then going back on their main to get the extra resources from the tower to try to boost that up a little bit and shade spire is all tier one so you're only ever Ever going to get tier one materials from it, but Fate Spire is tier two. So if you have your main character in tier two or going into tier three and you complete all the tower and then you start to get alts up to tier two, you can also do this again. If I go complete all 50 of these floors, they will all have tier two resources on them. And then as you keep getting more and more alts into tier two, you can keep doing more towers on them. You can keep doing more Fate Spire floors on those alts to get resources for tier two. And that's pretty much all I want to go over with this video. If you're someone that likes having a bunch of alt characters and you want to keep gearing them up, I would 100% recommend going and completing all 50 floors of the tier one tower and then going through them on your alts as much as your item level will allow. This will give you a massive influx of additional upgrade materials that your main did not have access to. So subscribe if you want to see more Lost Ark or other MMO videos. Leave a like if you liked the video. Leave comment down below what you guys think about the tower and thanks for watching.
start. 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 Success. 